Today, looking at four professional LED lights that are all under $100. Learn how to turn your smartphone into a professional quality video camera. Be sure to check out our mobile filmmaking courses, master the Filmic Pro app, or color grading in LumaFusion, and learn about smartphone video and cinematography. And also don't forget, we have a companion filmmaking podcast. Links are in the description. We got the F7 Mini, the Aperture MC, an interesting one from Godox, and one from Joby. Each light comes with a charging cable, not shown. You know what those look like. But they also all come with a diffuser to help soften the light. The F7 Mini and the Aperture MC both come with carrying cases. And then the F7 Mini also comes with a grid or a honeycomb and a small mounting arm. All right, so at first we've got the F7 Mini and this is a great little LED and it is more or less a knockoff of the Aperture, the MC. They're very similar size. We'll get to this in just a second though. I like the display panel on top. You got a control panel on the side and you got a charging port. You can easily change the various settings. Right now I'm in the main light mode, but it's got scenes and it's got various RGB controls and it's got different filters you can do, different colors. So it's a full featured light. And of course it's magnetic on the back. I just mentioned this one, and this is the Aperture MC. This light came out before the F7 Mini. Very similar control features. It's got a display on the top, and the buttons on the side are almost identical to the Mini. The Mini is a little bit wider, so it's not quite as Mini. <laughs> Thickness is about the same, but the Mini is just a little bit bigger than the Aperture MC. but they're very similar lights in all ways, except for one big thing. The Mini is about, I don't know, 60% of the cost. We'll talk about the prices in just a minute. But this light also has the various RGB features and it has effects too. And I didn't mention on the Mini, this has effects as well. Different party lights, strobe lights, police lights, that kind of thing. And both these lights will go down to zero, which is nice. A lot of LEDs, especially from a few years ago, would only go down to like 10%. So I like being able to dim it all the way down. The next one is one from Godox, and it is a little bit different. It's round. It almost looks like something you'd put under a kitchen counter. But I really like this light. Very similar functions to the previous lights I just showed. Although again, this is round. Has a nice display on the top. Controls are on the side there, and then it has a USB-C port. And all these lights have a quarter 20 mount, which is nice on the bottom. So they can all mount on a tripod or on a camera. This one too has RGB controls, HSI, RGB, various effects, and then the normal light. This one too will dim all the way down to zero, which I do like quite a bit. And this also is magnetic on the back. That's a trend I've seen the last couple of years and all the lights I'm looking at today have that feature. The last one is one from Joby. 
and I reviewed this light with their vlogging kit. It comes with the kit, but you can also buy it by itself. And so I thought it was worth including in this because it's around the same price point and it serves a very similar purpose. This light though is much simpler, which can be good and bad. I would say this one's geared towards people that just want to go out and shoot a very straightforward video. It has buttons on here to turn it on and off, and then you can cycle through the different light strengths by clicking the button. So it's a very simple, very utilitarian design, I would say. Now you can have a lot more control over this light by connecting it to an app. And the other lights have apps as well. I'm not a big fan of apps, and so I'm not gonna go over those, but just know that you can use apps. Sometimes they can come in handy, like if your light is up high or something and you can't reach it and you wanna turn it on or off, or you wanna go through different effect modes and that kind of thing. But for the most part, I just prefer to put a light on a stand or on the camera and turn it on and use it. And that's what this light is good for. It also gets remarkably bright. And I'll talk about brightness here in just a second. But out of all these lights, it is definitely the brightest. The other thing it has that the other lights don't have is it has multiple ways to connect this to a camera. So I've got a cold shoe on here right now, so it'll slide in your cold shoe. It also has a quarter 20 mount, and then it also has a cold shoe on it. So you could attach a microphone. Let's say you put this light on your camera and you could slide a microphone in, and that way you don't need another cold shoe on your camera or your phone or whatever you're using. So it's a pretty compact design. All right, so for this brightness test here, and by the way, this is unscientific, I put the diffusers on each light because that's the way I use them the most and I think that's the way you would use them as well. And I just wanted to see how they all stacked up against each other lighting a product shot. This is a very basic setup and I have each light turned to 100%, just looking at the output capacity of each light. In my work, I use these mainly as accent lights, or again, kind of like this lighting a product for macro type shots or close up shots, typically speaking. You can also use them, of course, for vlogging and that kind of thing. So you could put them on a camera, but these aren't that powerful of lights. But again, for what they are, they do pretty well. So again, a very unscientific test here, more of a real world practical test which one ended up being brighter? The Godox was the brightest. Second was the Joby Bimo. And earlier I said it was the brightest and I still think it is if you take the diffuser off. And so if you wanna use that in another scenario without the diffuser, the light is pretty harsh, but it is a very bright light using it like that. The F7 Mini was almost exactly the same brightness though as the Joby, just a little bit less punch. And then the Aperture put out the least amount of light in this test. And I've noticed that before in my own real world use. It's a very nice light, but it's not a really bright light. Battery life on these kind of lights to me is pretty important. And so I wanted to briefly touch on that. The Aperture is rated to last about two hours, 120 minutes at 100%. That's a long time, but it doesn't last that long, at least not in my experience. Real world, you're probably looking at about 90 minutes. You might be able to get two hours continuous if you start with a 100% fresh battery charge, but realistically, it's less than that. The F7 Mini is pretty much the same. Again, this is sort of a clone of the Aperture. It's rated at about two hours as well at full power. In my experience, it's not quite that much. It's less than that, but it has a really pretty decent runtime. And one quick note, I rarely shoot with these lights at 100%. So when you dim them down, you obviously get more battery life. And you really see that on the Joby BMO here. At 100%, you only get about 40 minutes of runtime. But at 50% brightness, which for most cases is plenty using this light, you get about 100 minutes or more. So the battery life on this one is not as good, especially if you're running it at full power, but it reduced power and this goes with all the lights, but in particular this Joby, you get some decent runtime. And then the Godox is kind of in between. At full brightness, you get about 90 minutes or so. However, again, in my experience, you don't quite get that much. You can definitely get an hour and up to 90 minutes. Whenever I use this light as a background light or an accent light, I usually put it at about 75%, sometimes lower. Doing it that way, I do get extended battery life. And now price, what everyone is probably most interested in. 
the least expensive by quite a bit is the F7 Mini. The most expensive by quite a bit is the Aperture MC. And then right in the middle are the Godox and the Joby. All these prices are at the time of the recording of this video, and they are definitely subject to change. So which one should you get? Well, that's obviously a subjective call. You really can't go wrong with any of these lights. It primarily comes down to what you're using it for. In my own personal work, I tend to use the Godox the most. It's one of the more unique lights, but I love the little dome diffuser and I can just use the magnetic side and pop it on a railing and light up the background. And it has really good brightness level and it's an RGB light. If you're shooting run and gun interviews or doing vlogging, the Joby is a really good option. It's a very simple light, but it's built like a tank. It's easy to carry with you, it's simple to use, and it's also waterproof. It's just a very rugged light, but it doesn't have near the features as the other ones, that's for sure. The Aperture MC comes from a very well-known brand. Aperture makes great lights. It's also the most expensive though, and I don't think it's worth it compared to the other lights. One thing it does have though that the other ones don't have is wireless charging. And since Aperture is a very well-known brand, the longevity of this light might be better. But no question in my mind, the best bang for the buck is the F7 Mini. This light has all the features of the Aperture and it's about 60% of the cost. And Falcon Eyes, the company that makes this light, is a well-known company as well. I have lots of Falcon Eyes lights. But importantly too, you get all those accessories with this light. Best bang for the buck, no question, is the F7 Mini. Product links for all these lights are in the description below. And drop a comment if you have any questions. I've been using these lights for the past several months and so I should be able to answer them. Again, these are all good lights. It really just depends on how much money you want to spend and what you're trying to do. Thanks for watching guys. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.